Fort Wayne Community Schools Superintendent Dr. Mark Daniel, Deputy Superintendent Dr. Faye Williams Robbins, School Board President Maria Norman, and I, John Hauser, as the proud principal of Wayne High School, do hereby certify that all the members of the class of 2023 presented to you this morning have met the requirements set forth by the State of Indiana and the Fort Wayne Community Schools Board of Trustees and should there, therefore, be granted a diploma. Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed an honor to present to you the 52nd graduating class of Wayne High School. Please stand for the procession.
please remain standing as our JROTC cadets present the colors for the playing of our national anthem. That was senior Rudy Ruiz on saxophone. It is my honor to introduce for the welcome co-salutatorian Rachel Bliven. Good morning and welcome class of 2023. After four years of grueling lectures, amazing friends, all monitors, and piles of homework, the last thing I wanted to do was climb up these stairs, stand before you, and present a speech on our time together. Very few things terrify me more than public speaking, and it rarely gets more public than this. Regardless of that, I am very delighted to see us all here in our caps and gowns, taking our next steps into our future. I remember walking into New Tech on my very first day of, as freshman just four years ago, thinking this was going to be the longest four years of my life. As the years went by in the blink of an eye, I know we as a class have succeeded. We have made way in history just this year in a multitude of ways, as we have watched both athletically and academically, as we have watched our basketball team make it to semi-state for the very first time in our lifetimes. We also watched as, for the very first time in Wayne history, we've had two co-salutatorians. I feel as though I should talk about our next journeys and the moments we have shared in school, or talk about how we struggled through our personal hardships and COVID. However, we've heard that plenty. Thank you to all the family members, friends, teachers, and everyone else for coming together on this beautiful morning to support the class of 2023 in the next steps of our life. Now to introduce our, my salutatorian, Natalie Cheney. Good morning, friends, family, classmates, and administrators. We did it. The class of 2023 can finally call themselves graduates. On March 13th, 2020, we left for an early spring break, and little did we know that it would change the course of our high school careers. 
Rather than returning to classes our sophomore year, we logged onto computers. We were then responsible for our education and ensuring that we got all of our work turned in. We truly had to fight for our education. The next time that we would all see each other again would be our junior year. But even then, our school looked different. We were all wearing masks and social distancing. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I couldn't breathe in the mask. But this year, this year was different. This was our first year since our freshman year that school looked somewhat normal. Despite there being construction, we were finally able to experience high school and life to its fullest. After all of that, I think there is one word that could describe the class of 2023, and that is fighters. We are fighters. The class of 2023 has had so many obstacles in its way, and yet here we are today, celebrating our triumph through it all. Through all of that, you still found a way to turn in those assignments, despite if it was 11.59 due dates or a project due early in the morning. You still found a way. I am proud of you. I am proud of us. We have worked so hard for this day to be able to walk across this stage, receive that diploma, and to smile and wave. We have worked so hard for the fear that we will fall on our faces, which, knock on wood, we don't. But our battle isn't over yet. We have honestly just begun. Let today mark the beginning of our futures. Whether if you aspire to become a lawyer, a nurse, a doctor, a teacher, a mechanic, a factory worker, an electrician, or quite literally anything else in this world, please know that your hard work matters. And it will all pay off in the end. Each of us matters, and with that, our thoughts, feelings, and opinions matter. So please never think that you can't make a difference in the world because you can do whatever you set your mind to do. Allow yourself to be the change that you see in the world. Together, if we all take a vow to put others before ourselves, while still being mindful of our own wants and needs, we can make a difference in the world. If you look to your left and to your right, you may see faces you have never seen before. But I hope that each of you sees at least one face that is familiar. These are the people that will build our future. Whether if it's here or somewhere across the country, we are all connected through this ceremony and through this school. We have become a family, whether you like it or not. So please take a moment today or sometime in the future to think about these people and how you can make a difference in their lives. And when you can think of that difference, I challenge you to go out there and do it. Because even if you feel like you're too shy or no one will listen, I guarantee that someone is watching you and listening to you. So I, as I stated before, the class of 2023 is fighters. We can each go out into the real world and show them what the class of 2023 can do. I would like to introduce Lily Stahl, the valedictorian. And it is my honor to introduce our valedictorian of the class of 2023, Lily Stahl. As we stand here now, about to graduate, I ask all of you to think back to elementary school. When our readings were chapter books, math didn't have any letters in it, and popularity was determined solely by how fast you could run. We were told that if we worked hard and did our best, we could accomplish anything we set our minds to. The world was our oyster, and an infinite spread of possibilities lay before us. We were told to work in service to ourselves, and that everything else would come naturally. Since then, 
since stepping first into those doors of Wayne, we've grown. We've gotten our first jobs. We've started supporting our families. We've examined the realities of the lives we live. We've learned that to truly work in service to ourselves, we must work in service to others. Service is the responsibility of each and every one of us. The responsibility to provide for those around us and help those in need. Our class has only had the chance to stand here in this room today because of the service of others. The service of our families, of our friends, our teachers, and our mentors. And the time has come for us to give back. Each and every one of us is uniquely positioned to make a change in the world around us, to better serve our community and the people in it. Whether that be as simple as a kind word to a stranger, or as expansive as a large-scale protest against injustice, we all have something we can do. Delve deep into your heart for a moment and think of one way you could help someone today. One way you could serve the soul of another. Take that thought and turn it real. There's nothing stopping you. Take that thought and see it through. We ride now on the backs of those who came before us, and it's up to us to make them proud. We are the teachers and the mentors of tomorrow. I always have the terrific opportunity to celebrate in the class of 2023, but before I do that, I do want to recognize those principals who have made all of this possible before they entered Wayne High School. So I'm going to introduce our principals that are here on stage with us and the school that they currently lead. Tammy Mullins, Bunch Early Childhood Center. Mary Canary, Irwin Elementary School. Jennifer Nickel, Lindley Elementary School. Alex Trevino, Maplewood Elementary School. Deneen Neff, Washington Elementary School. Christy Hoffner, Waynedale Elementary School. Jennifer Witzegruder, Tolls Intermediate School. Jeffrey King, Miami Middle School. Michael Christner, Portage Middle School. Congratulations, graduates, and welcome parents and guardians, families and friends. As determined as I was not to focus on the pandemic, I am following the lead of our students and will speak to it. So let's begin with the shutting down of school 1,713 days ago in the midst of your freshman year. When that happened, we all went home thinking it might be a few days, then a couple weeks, and then reality hit us that it would be for the rest of the year. As educators, families, and students, we had no idea what we were in for. The greatest adjustment that we had to make, that I personally had to make, was how to communicate to our Wayne community. No longer did we have the attention of our students at morning announcements on the LMS, or in echo. For the first time, our communication was directed to parents through an app called School Messenger. And of course, Ms. Oberlin took nature walks, sharing words of wisdom and calm through her videos. The empty hallways of our school left us to connect with parents and families, and it really changed how our school operated. 
we no longer focused on test scores, research papers, and presentations. Our focus went to the well-being of our students and their families. It was probably a good change, a needed change to reconnect with the foundation of our students and the foundation of their successes that we celebrate today, the family. When you become a principal, you can anticipate the benefits of being around energetic students and staff. You can count on celebrating scholarships and graduation. You can hope for sectional and regional championships in basketball. What you do not plan for, what I had no idea of, was how important our Wayne families would become to me and to the success of our Wayne community. Our conversations began with the same curiosities that anyone would have in a pandemic. When and how would it end? But conversations became more about the personal and vital needs of you, parents and guardians. And all along, I was able to get a sense that our students have incredible support systems and loving homes where each member of the family has to put their hand into the work that creates confidence and joy. Seniors, you became caretakers and tutors for younger siblings, nieces, and nephews. Many of you went to work to make extra money for the needs of your family. All of a sudden, our practices became focused more on supporting and providing for others. We were protecting others from all of the goblins of pandemic and its uncertainty. Over these past four years, we have grown as a community, students, staff, and families. Wayne High School continues to create the opportunities for success and we have the staff that can personalize for our students so that the opportunities meet the many needs of our students. It all works as it should. And the greatest compliment that can be paid to any school is that you parents and guardians continue to send your children to our school. It is indeed an honor to welcome the next child and know there is a trust that will continue the great work that has already been established. No family can exemplify this better than the family of Ryan and Ashanti Hill. Today, their sixth Wayne General graduates 10 years after their first. That graduate today is Nazareth, but prior to him, it was Amari, Brenia, Ahmad, Mariah, and it all began with Rasham. What a gift to our school and community over the past 13 years. And the hills are just one of the continuous procession of supportive Wayne families. This all leads to our current graduates. Examples have been set in your homes and they teach that regardless of the challenges and uncertainty that can come at moments, we know we can push through them and land in a better place than where we began. There is a theory out in the public mainstream today that COVID made us all selfish, an attitude that we had to take care of ourselves first. I look at this group of graduates and think differently. I see young people committed to looking around first and pulling someone up from their knees or pulling them in closer for a hug. I see a group that might follow this mantra, there is no them, there's only us. I have seen proof of that over our past four years and expect that to be the future you will set for us. One where you follow the path of your family that raised you, carried you, corrected you, loved you, so that we could all enjoy today together 1,000 713 days after the shutdown. Congratulations. You have exceeded the challenges set in front of you, and more importantly, you have learned to look outward to support others whom you will find more like yourself than different. Congratulations. I am now honored to introduce Deputy Superintendent of Fort Wayne Community Schools, Dr. Deborah Faye Robbins.
Good morning. It is always my pleasure to have the opportunity to play a small part at graduations. Today is a special day. We recognize and celebrate the culmination of accomplishments made by you as graduates. But it is the only the beginning, not the end, to just your pre-K-12 education. It is our desire as a school district that the education and experiences you have received while with us have prepared you for far greater experiences and successes as you move into the next phase of your life. Thank you to the mothers, fathers, grandparents, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, and other caregivers for the opportunity to have served your family and to have worked alongside you in ensuring your graduate received a quality education. It has truly been our privilege. To the graduates, job well done. You deserve the accolades you will receive today and best wishes for a bright future. Congratulations, Wayne Generals Class of 2023. Thank you, Vals, Val and Sal's, and Mr. Ruiz. Will you four please stand and let's give them a round of applause. That was phenomenal. Holy, holy cow. Thank you. I'd also like to say there are things happening at Wayne High School. You're sort of this hidden gem. And it all starts with leadership. Let's give a round of applause for Mr. Hauser. So, I'm looking at my speech, I'm going, I think everything's already been said. But I'll say a little bit more just because I'm supposed to. But I'll tell you this, everything that's been said, you are the new normal. You had to experience something that no other class, freshman through senior year, will ever experience again, I hope. But there are lessons learned, and you learn them well. Let me give you some quotes that came from you. The breaks in different way of school life helped shape me into who I am now. I've had time to really think about my future and work hard so I can get there. I also had time to think about who I want to be in this world and build the confidence up to get there. Another person said, now I'm a person who is more grateful for the people that I can always depend on. I find myself being more willing to try new things. Another student said, having my first year of high school abruptly shortened was not ideal. But I learned a lot about myself, which made me a better person. It taught me to be flexible and helped me to learn to accept and adapt to a challenging learning environment. Another student said, after it was all said and done and back to normal, it taught me to appreciate every blessing for what it is, instead of wishing it was different. It taught me to not constantly complain about things I have no control over. It taught me how to better adapt to new circumstances instead of living a static and rigid life. Lastly, I learned how to think outside the box and how to become comfortable doing uncomfortable things. These are lessons we all wish we could learn. Because you know what that means? You're ready for this ever-changing world. So unlike your parents, your grandparents, those of us on this stage, you grew up in a world that said, what are you going to do? Are you going to persevere or are you going to fight? You fought. Yes, 
you were equipped with the tools and mindset to take on the most challenging issues facing our community and the world. One very important way you can do that, like your vow said, service and also doing the one fundamental thing in democracy, and that's vote. So we have something I'm going to say is absolutely critical for Fort Wayne Community Schools. And we are not sitting on the sidelines waiting to react. We want to be proactive, and that's safety. You need to vote November 7, 2023, as well as everyone in this audience, to support a referendum that's going to be proactive about safety, creating safer schools. So this past week, I want to tell you I heard the sports commentator Dick Vitale. You all know Dick Vitale, or is, that, is he too old? So Dick Vitale is a sports commentator. He's also a survivor of cancer, and he's been voted into six basketball Hall of Fames. He's the one who coined awesome baby, that sort of thing. He spoke about three things that I took away. Three things that you can do that ensures that you're a fighter and you're a winner. First of all, have passion for what you're wanting and thinking and pursuing. Passion can overcome a lot of weaknesses. Passion. Then take pride in what you do. Passion, pride. Do your best. Excel. But also persevere because you're going to have bumps. You're going to have potholes. You're going to have things or you're going to have to figure out how to get around, under, over, whatever. Those three Ps yield winners. You're all winners. You're all fighters. And I want to say I can't wait to see what you accomplish, class of 2023. Thank you. Before we honor our graduates with their diplomas, I ask each year that each of you to change the tone of our graduation from those of the past, that we make every effort to hold applause and shout outs until the very end. To change how we recognize the 13 years of work, I ask each of you to draw no attention to yourselves, but allow our students to celebrate as they have been taught for the past four years with honor, dignity, and joy. Thank you. Lily Stahl, Rachel Bliven, Natalie Cheney, Noraisha Abdul Mona, Joasia Adams, Christian Adkins. Andrea Alcaraz, Olivia Alexander, Christian Alvarez, Jennifer Alvazuris, Marlena Ames, Jonathan Anavisca Monteroso. Emily Andorfer, Mariana Arouse, 
Aubrey Armstrong, Mustafa A. Ayot Bai, Omarion Bass, Moni Dabi, Twa B, Rahi Mabi, Justin Beers, Dakota Belkowski, Stephen Bender, Logan Berger, Davinion Berry, Harji Darby, Javion Billingsley, Nicholas Billingsley, Zion Blackwell, Addison Blair, Camille Bontempo, Elijah Boone, Ian Bourne, Allison Brockhouse, Augustine Brooks, Michael Brown, Alasia Callaghan, Ashley Carlin, Peter Chase, Isabel Chesney Jordan, Kelsey Church, Grayson Conley, Kyara Cooper, Kane Copeland, Eric Cornelio Perfecto, Alexis Christ, Joseph Crowell, Joshua Curry, Landon Dancer, Christian Davenport, Egypt Davis, Anaya Davis Hill, Taylor DiCarava, Zachary Delger, David Diaz, Elena Diaz, Amelia Diaz, Monica Diaz, Quinn Diller, Joe Din, Kayvon Dixon, Stephen Donis, Kanaya Doty, Marquise Douglas, Pierre Duran, Anna Dyer, Adaya Eldridge, Jamarius Eldridge, Araya England, Mark England, Carrington Ensley,
Byron Escobar, Brenasia Ewing, Horatio Fields, Austin Finney, Adisha Ford, Devin Foreman, Jordan Folks, Marissa Friday, Harley Fugate, Jasmine Garcia, Nayeli Garza, Makai Germain, Jakevion Gray, Emmanuel Griffin, Ladarius Griggs, Eric Guerrero, Noxy Guest, Jasmine Gutierrez, Janice Guzman, Mackenzie Hag, Hassan Abdul Hamid, Justice Hamilton, Darion Hardy, Cody Hatfield, Christian Heller, Azanith Hernandez, Diego Hernandez, Eduardo Hernandez, Gabriel Hesting, Briasia Hicks, Anaya Hill, Nazareth Hill, Aliyah Holbrook, Keandra Holmes, Molly Householder, Blaze Howard, Samantha Huguenard, Dylan Hullinger, Demarion Jackson, Jada Jackson, Michael Jarvis, Tracy Jason, Marvin Jenkins, Michael Jenkins, Bernicia Johnson, Michaela Johnson, Tanner Johnson, Ajacia Jones, Gerard Jones, Raviana Jones, Xavier Jones, Foster Kearns, Kalon Kelsaw, Robin King, Shiera King, James Kirkendall, Olivia Lamb, Scott Lance, Lanasia Lapsley, Dilesha Lapsley,
Marquette Lee, Mason Link, Cairo Lloyd, Michaela Luma, Diane Lundy, Arafat May, Anastasia Malagon, William Manny, Sahe Mar, Marcos Melendez Kolkman, Henry Myers, Chevelle Kelly Miller. Claire Miller. Che Mo. Farhan Muhammad Ali. Nur Khatija Muhammad Salim. Monier, Jenna Monier. Caden Moore. Malaysia Moore. Michaela Moore. Mariana Morales. Ludum Moran. Brianna Morris. Maya Morrison. Justin Munez. Dyson Murphy. Ha Si Na. Dayan Neal. Lamarian Nelson. Tylea Nelson. Hunter No. Isabella Nichols. R. Nit. Amaya Norman. Brody Odier. Brian Elko. King Min U. Mio Min U. Shabria O'Quinn. David Orta. Elisa Perez Cruz. Angelina Perez. Brian Perez. Jante Powell. Josephine Powers. Keyshawn Price. Gabriel Pruden. Caden Patak. Fiona Quinn. Mykelion Ragsdale. Jesus Ramirez. Priscilla Ramirez. Nathaniel Raymond. Anthony Reyna. Osman Ree.
Lucas Rich. JC Richardson. Anthony Reyna. Ayana Ritomalta. Alasia Robinson. Caden Rochford. Adeline Rodriguez. Lacey Raymer. Sam Unique Rogers. Alonzo Romero. Brian Rosa Contorero. Rudy Ruiz. Seth Russell. Zachary Ricecamp. Guadalupe Zavedra. Kate Zavedra. Elijah Sanders. Gwen Scott. Cody Seal. Peyton Sells. Zion Shepard. Ashton Shively. Zoe Schultz. Denaya Simpson. Jaquela Sims. Savannah Smeltsley. Dejanae Smith. Javana Smith. Cabria Smith. Kyra Smith. Monty Smith. Sheldon Smith. Devin Snyder. Emmanuel Snyder. Nai Nai So. Jayla Stallings. Kyle Stark. Anaya Steele. Jada Stewart. Ladarius Stinson. Felicity Stockman. Chloe Studer. Simone Strong. Nora Summers. Connor Swoverlin. Sydney Taylor. Shane Terry. Gabrielle Thomas. Omarion Thomas. Rainisha Tilson. Trayvon Tinker. Alexander Trent. Christian Trimble. Michaela Trotter.
Ashton Tucker. Za Za Tun. Jalia Turner. Aria Underwood. Haven Vasquez. Tyriana Vaughn. Sierra Vizi. Sama Vergara. Cesar Villalobos. Jacob Voliva. Tu Le Wa. Maya Walda. Idacia Walker. Kinsley Walker. Lariana Washington. Sarah Weaver. Audrey Wenta. Camry White. Terrence Wheeler. Jalen White. Shamariana White. Samira Whitlow. Keshila Williams. Ariana Wilson. Charday Wilson. Sydney Wolf. Peyton Wonderly. Lee Wood. Caleb Woods. Michael Wyatt. Haven Yan. Joe Wariar. Nehemiah Young. Ham Za. Tu Ya Za. Damian Zuniga. Graduates, please stand. Please move your tassel from your right to your left, thus signifying that you are indeed graduates of the class of 2023. Congratulations, all of you. Everyone, please rise for the recessional. And we're out.